Welcome to Fat Daddy's Outdoor Cooking. Good morning. So, late to bed, late to rise. That's about how it works. So, for you young folks watching, get your butt to bed early, get up early. All right. Man, woke up late. That's the way it is. Went to bed like at one. So, got to get some potatoes in the ground today. That's the game plan. Let me look at my little list here. So, we got we got to fix the front, the front gate. Uh, little frame thing messed up on it. Plus, it's sagging too much. Got to fix the refrigerator. A little rubber stripping on that little strip that goes around it. Because one of the bottoms is falling off. Or almost all the way off. Plant the potatoes. And, God willing, uh, I got to comb my hair too, you see that? And then I got to get the chickens out the gate. I ain't even done that this morning yet. Figured I'd do this little quick intro. And then uh, uh, hopefully make a raised, raised bed, uh, show y'all how to make the raised bed. So that's the game plan. God willing, we'll see what happens. Good morning. Woo. All right, here's my little gel breakers. Yep. They've been in there over there at the tail house. Finally letting them out. See if they can get back in my yard. <laughs> if not, we're doing good. I've got them fattened, fattened up a little bit, so there's still a few more in here. I get them out of here and uh, see if they can't sneak back over into the yard yard where the, where the garden stuff are. Hopefully not. Yeah, there's a few more. There's a little guinea right there. Well, we'll see you here in a little bit. Hey, y'all still drinking coffee? Come on, let's go. All right, we're fixed to bust this up with a tractor. Get this, get ready to get these taters in the ground. There she is. I run two rounds through here. I'm going to put it down here on this end instead of down there. Uh, just uh, because the corn's going to grow up. That's which way the sun sets, so it'll help shade the taters. But anyway, there's uh, there's two rows right there. That, I'm not going to use all that, but I busted up two rows. Now we're going to run through it with a tiller. I got this old school beast. Old school now, five horsepower, Briggs and Stratton. I mean, it's old. No safety or nothing on it. But anyway, I got it got it fueled up, and I've got to put a little air in that tire there. But uh, let's crank this up and run it through the row. Yeah, if y'all ever get a chance to find them at a yard sale or something, there's some of them old chillers. Shoot, man, they're they're good. They're built right. Uh, they're stronger, in my opinion. Uh, they're, they're, the only one downfall, which I don't think it's a downfall. I like the idea that don't have all that safety crap on it, you know. I mean, you just turn this sucker loose, it's dang near automatic. Yeah. So here's what we're planting. These are just regular store-bought potatoes. Look at all them eyes on there. That's what we're planting. Got these for a really good deal. Uh, I think it was back in October or November. They've been underneath the bed. We put them up, we put cardboard down and put them up underneath the bed where it's cool and dark. And uh, then that way they don't go to running. And then what I did was last week, well, actually last Monday, this is Monday today. You won't see this probably till, I don't know, Thursday or something. But what I've done is it's, it's got these to scab over. And what I'll do is I'll cut this potato like right in there, whoop, cut it off, get it outside, don't put it in the sun, I just put it in the, on the patio in the shade and get that to scab over. And, and then I can get like three cuttings off this one because it's got a lot of eyes on it. You know, I'll just bust this in three pretty much. And uh, and there's there's my goal. Once it scabs over, uh, then I'll plant it. See, so it's good and scabbed over, it looks good and it's fixed to go on the ground. As soon as I get this busted up with a tiller. All right, let me chunk y'all another quick tip I should have mentioned earlier. Let's say this is let's say this is January and I'm not ready to get these in the ground, okay? And, and they're already doing this eye thing on me. Just just knock them off. Get them off there. Like that. Bam. Knock them all off. Okay? And that'll stop this tater. It's wanting to say, hey man, I want to reproduce. I'm ready to reproduce. Let's go. But just get them all back off. And uh, you know, and she'll she'll grow back again. Don't do it too close to when you're going to plant it, but back underneath the bed or wherever your cool, dark spot is, and uh, get after it. All right, we bust her up with a chisel plow, and I went through it with the little freaking beast right there. 
And now, she's pretty good. She's real good. Yeah, look at that soil. That's good dirt in it. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to get some ashes sprinkled on there, down my rows, and then uh, run through it one more time. See, I was supposed to do that before I throw the ashes down there, but I forgot. We're going to sprinkle that right over the top and then get it tillered in. I'm not putting much, I'm just putting very thin. Okay. Alright, we're going to suck on some of this coffee, get this sucker fired up, and we're right down our rows. So we don't need all that fancy stuff, you know, the tiller and the tractor. It makes life easier to plant and stuff. We don't need all that fancy stuff. You can use the shovel if you don't have the, the right stuff right now, or, or, or the I'd say the right stuff, that's the wrong word. If you don't have the easier stuff to do, go old school with it. Just get it done. You know, bust that ground up with a shovel. Uh, get after it. Let nothing stop you, okay? Now, is it easier to run the store and grab 10 pounds of taters? Absolutely. But we do this now and learn how to do it now. So one day we cannot go to the store and get it. We already got it. We know how to do it. See? And that's the whole goal here. Besides putting what, what uh, fertilizers and whatever I want into my food, right? And, and then not, not depending on somebody, well, what did they put in there? Like Roundup or Monsanto or whatever they did. I don't know. I'll put what I want on my groceries. You see, you can do the same. Anyway, uh, we got to get these taters going, baby. Woo! So there it is. That's how I did it. So here, here's how I do it. Here's my two rows right there. See them? And, and, and then I leave enough space on this outside edge. That's where I can run my tiller up there. And then right in the middle, of course, I want to be able to run my tiller, keep the weeds down. And then you got the other row. And then again on the outside edge. And, and what the, what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to heal these right now. They're going straight in the ground. Just like this. I, I am, I'm just going to them, put them right on top and then grab a hoe and then cover them with, with some dirt. Uh, and then as they start getting, the bushes start getting taller, the mounds will start getting taller. So that's, that's my game plan there. And my little tiller's still kicking some rear end. Love my little tiller. It's old school. It's probably older than I am. But uh, I think I gave... I think you wanted three and a quarter or something like that. Let's see if it's on the tag right here. All right, wore off. Yeah, it's wore off. No warranty. It does say no warranty. Actually, there is a price on there. I'd have to get my glasses. But it seemed like I, seemed like I paid two seventy five. So, anyway, let's get these taters planted. All right, let me show you how I do it. So 
looks like I'm not going to have enough potatoes to run these two rows, but I'm going to go cut some more up, so that'll be fine, too. I put them, uh, let me show you. So here's what I've done. I've, I've, I've got them roughly, I'll, I'll show you with my, my thing here. Roughly like that. I'm, no particular way. Some of them are closer. Some of them are farther. So, farther apart. So, there they are. And I've got my little two rows going. I did finish the first one out, and I'm probably going to get almost to the end of the other one. And then I'll just have to cut a few more potatoes up, let them heal up, and get them, get them in there. Okay, I, I did make it stretch. What I did was rob a couple from down yonder. But uh, there they are. Now now we're going to take the hoe. And uh, and, I, and by the way, I put these upwards. See them eyes? They're going upwards. That's what you're after. Now we're going to cover that up. All right, so all we're doing now is getting these taters covered up. Mom's out here helping. She said she would, and she stuck to her word. That's cool. So we're just putting two or three inches on top. Getting covered up good because in case it rains, you know. Anyway, we're going to go all the way down there and finish that out. And then I've got another video coming up on, uh, I've got to get some more potatoes ready. But I'm going to do one in a, just one in a raised bed for y'all too. So you can see the difference from the row to the raised bed. So get ready on that one too. So hey, thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Won't be long or we're going to have french fries. A hamburger. Ooh.